Hey there, Patriots. Welcome back to the front lines. Death Watch here to give you guys more intel so you can update your personal armory and fight back against the fake news media machine. And today we'll be talking about Vice News because apparently they have been nominated for a Emmy Award in the Outstanding Arts, Culture, and Entertainment Coverage um, subgenre for their piece called The Dark Side of Manga. However, when you go to Vice and all of their platforms, right, then the, their website, their TV platform, wherever, their YouTube page, there is no record of the dark side of manga, okay, despite the fact that they are receiving an Emmy for it. So what I believe what they did is they essentially made this kind of documentary and turned it direct, turned it in directly to a awards commissioning board, right, to see if they can receive a Emmy for their, uh, their docuseries, right, and when you look at their whole, uh, I believe it's called the Dark Side series, right? They look at the dark side of the 2000s, the 90s, right? One of the uh, episodes uh, focused on Lindsay Lohan, right? We all know the rise and fame of Lindsay Lohan. However, let's take a darker look at the dark side to her career, which most likely led her to, um, to her decline, right? And so that's really what the Dark Side series kind of focuses on. It takes different subgenres like the 90s, you know, looks at different actors in the 90s, look at different actors in the 2000s. You have the Dark Side of Comedy, the Dark Side of the Ring, which is focused on like WWE and stuff like that, right? And so what it has led people to speculate, because again, there is no record of the Dark Side of manga anywhere on any of their platforms. So what a lot of people are speculating that it has mo it's most likely another hit piece like they've done before. Eight months ago, they were release what is called the inside uh the inside the you know the word right there manga industry in japan right and so a lot of people are saying that hey this is going to be another hit piece on the anime manga industry from bad faith vice news okay now before we really get into this whole argument um i'm gonna say this right when it comes to the whole lowly shoda sub genre i 100 think that it is 100 cringy okay I we all know I know sorry I know all the arguments about you know it's cartoon depictions right yes it falls under a uh, very legal gray area in Japan right they 100% have like no laws against it because it, in fact I think um, in the actual you know in the actual video which I'll get props to Vice um, for doing is that they actually interview a, a manga artist who draws this type of content, right? And he, they openly say that, yes, it falls into a legal gray area in Japan and is protected under the First Amendment in Japan, right? However, when it outside of Japan, you are most likely playing with fire in the Western world, in America, Canada, Europe, okay? You are playing with fire, right? Who, I don't know, right? I haven't really looked at any court cases, whether or not it is protected in any way uh any in any way but we all know that hey if you take these type of works right this guy has a manga and the lady goes through it and you know she there it's blurred out and she she basically you know kind of like sits down and says okay yeah this is what you know is being depicted here and he goes over what is actually you know what exactly he's drawing right if you take that manga and go out to the average american right and you ask them should this be protected under the first amendment majority of people are going to look at you up and down as a subhuman person right and right you'll be lucky to be able to walk away from that encounter okay we all know that this is a very gray area within you know within this type of uh subculture which is anime okay i find the whole thing to be cringy i know all the arguments i know all the legal arguments that it's not real it's just a cartoon depiction right again you can take two stick figures say they're whatever age and then make them engage in any type of uh you know sexual act that you want yeah i know that i know all the arguments guys right however that doesn't mean that uh people still can't find it cringy and people uh look at you and say yeah this person is a complete and total weirdo let's make fun of them right that's kind of part of the first amendment right you can associate with certain things you can uh, consume certain things but however people also have kind of have a uh, a protected right to sit there and look at you and say yeah you're a weirdo and i want nothing to do with you nor do i want to associate with you right and one thing is is that these artists right the artists who create this type of content openly are self-aware they are they are self-aware about themselves why they uh decided to draw this type of content and who their their consumers are who are their fans who are the people that they are creating this content for 
right? So Akio, who is the artist in the video, uh, says, you know, he draws the sexual depictions of minors and doesn't think that the manga should be banned. Not only are the drawings harmless, right? Because again, they are, you know, uh, they're just drawings, they're depictions, right? Lines on a page, right? He claims the illustration serves as a deterrent for people um, who are att attracted to minors like himself, right? Okay, so you got to have some type of self-awareness, right? That yes, this is meant for a certain demographic of people, the people who consume this type of content, um, if, if these these are very specific demographic of people who are attracted to this type of content for a reason okay so to try to play the whole mental gymnastic games around this it's like no 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 i know all the arguments i've you know grew up watching anime i know about all these different subgenres i know all the arguments about it right it's still cringy it's still yeah it, it's you know you know, you can make any type of argument you want for it, right? However, I will sit there and say that at the same time, I think Vice News is completely bad faith, right? My real advice to people who are into this type of genre, right? Just kind of keep it to yourself. Just shut up and keep it to yourself, right? I don't understand the whole grandstanding um, for this type of content because at the end of the day, it is simply like, yes, this is the democrat they the people who create this type of content are very much aware of the type of uh the, their demographic the demographic of people who are attracted to this type of artwork right even in other anime and manga tv shows and movies and what uh tv shows movies um whatever right they are very self-aware of the type of thing that they're doing and why they are creating this type of content right so again playing the whole mental gymnastics of you know people who make fun of people who enjoy this type of content it's like well yeah of course people are going to make fun of you right it's just like that's a given right i make fun of furries right because i think the whole idea of anthropomorphic animals right and people who didn't go on to draw these characters having you know relationships i find that whole thing to be completely just bizarre cringy right same thing as i find the whole lowly shoda thing to be completely cringy okay but at the same time i will say that well vice news you guys are making this docu series or you guys release articles in the past condemning japan for trying essentially trying to paint the picture that all of japan all of manga all of anime depicts these type of um this type of sub genre right it doesn't the amount the overall amount of anime and manga does not um does not sell this type of content to that demographic right a lot of it is mature just cool um good quality stories right there's different subgenres, the idol subgenre. there's plenty there's a whole bunch of content in anime and manga right that doesn't involve the whole lowly shota um theme okay and so for vice news to kind of come out with this hit piece uh attacking manga in the anime industry um is completely hypocritical because um with where's it at they've in the past right they sit here and they in this um kind of series they come out and say like hey this should be banned like this is not acceptable this should be banned this is disgusting but in the same breath in previous articles that they've written before they openly say things like you know men who call themselves you know non-offending you know um minor attracted people right they make articles sympathizing with these people right you know people who are in, in uh, who are into this should be considered a mental health issue and they should be treated as a mental health issue right not as monsters not as you know evil people right right and so it's just complete hip hypocrisy all around right C cuties right they came out and defended cuties even though this is the actual depiction of real life wi uh, girls minors doing sexual acts being in sexual poses right this is disgusting conservatives came out and said hey this should be 100 banned on netflix right the people who created this film should be arrested for creating softcore um you know what leftists all came out in droves saying that this movie is fantastic and conservatives are just making stuff up right even when it came to sound of freedom which was based off a real event where tim ballard went out with the colombian government to arrest several people who were uh, trafficking children right so end up saving 54 children but yet vice news decides to come out with a hit piece attacking tim baylor in his uh his nonprofit, the underground railroad okay because they want to drum up the idea that 
it's all a bunch of nonsense conspiracy that conservatives um being hyper aware and being hyper against these uh sexual material um being sold that involves children or being marketed towards children should be all banned okay should be scrutinized should be banned and should be removed from society right um conservatives are 100 percent correct about a lot of this stuff right they are uh, overall consistent on the things that they do not like okay vice news and all these other leftists use these type of arguments only when it benefits their narrative right again they they're out here saying that this type of uh content that depicts um imaginary made up um minors should be banned and uh condemned in japan however when the exact same thing is being sold to children or using real children uh depicted in doing these type of acts oh well you know we think that these people should be uh, should be given the benefit of the doubt or these people should be helped or you guys are just making it all up. This content is 100 percent legal and it should stay legal. Right. And so when you actually go and look at the um, the arguments right here, um, when the girls that they interview, I got this timestamp 618. Right. She uses the exact same arguments that leftists use or uh, that. Sorry. Excuse me right wingers use all the time right she says that by allowing this type of content to remain in anime and manga it will then normalize young girls and children to engage and to normalize the idea of that it is all right to engage in these type of activities with uh, adults now do i believe that to be true no right it's the same argument that people have used in the past where it's like if you allow children to watch violent movies watch play violent video games um listen to violent themes and movies and uh, well, uh, violent themes and music that they will then internalize it and then go out and commit those acts right there's been many studies that said there's absolutely no correlation bet between um violent behavior in video games in media right the depiction of violence in media has no overall um impact on young people and or people in general who watch this type of content right it has everything to do with the type of um background these children were raised in right nurture and nature right nurture versus nature okay these violent graphic media uh you know whether it be video games movies music has little to no effect on the overall belief system of these children a lot of these kids who are violent who engage in these violent activities is because they grew up in an environment where their parents really probably were violent towards them their parents either didn't give a crap about them and allowed their kids to do whatever and these kids then eventually went out into the world and hanged out around some very evil violent people who in essentially raise these people to believe that this is normal right this this type of behavior is 100 normal and acceptable okay and when it comes to my previous video talking about feminist frequency in anita sarkeesian she uses the exact same arguments right she comes out and says that the and just instead of using um she just simply says that you know exposing you know allowing for the sexual what was it the sexualization of adult women right because in a lot of these uh in this her whole um the women versus uh see women versus the tropes and video game series that she created right she only says that hey allowing these sexual depictions of w adult women in video games in tvs is tv shows and movies and all these other crap right allowing that to persist allows for young boys to normalize the sexualization of women and that hurts the overall feminist um structure in america right all the uh fighting that feminists are trying to achieve the equality that they're trying to achieve will always be downplayed and destroyed because as long as these video games these movies these tv shows allow for the sexual depictions of women young boys are going to grow up normalizing that behavior and say that we don't take women seriously and therefore that will deconstruct the whole achievements that feminists have been fighting for um for the past you know hundreds hundreds of years right again all of that is just fake nonsense right again leftists will gladly use these arguments when it benefits them but when you try to use when you're a conservative and use these exact same arguments against them then all of a sudden no 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 it's all conspiracy theory it's not proven to be true right it's bs right but one of the things that they do that i find completely funny 
is that they interview this guy right here, right? Who was arrested. He was a previous um, sex offender, right? He's a pretty previous sex offender. And he says that, hey, this type of content is what led me to be a sex offender. And therefore, I want it banned in Japan. OK, so one of the crazy things that I found to be completely hilarious is that the guy openly says something that conservatives have been arguing against when it comes to the whole argument about sex education right you have all these leftists who are trying to say hey we're just trying to teach sex ed to children in class right we just want to teach children sexual education in schools and we find nothing harmful about it however they interview this guy here and he openly says that well one of his how he was able to i uh, guess abuse a, a bunch of people was pretending to teach these kids sexual education, right? And in this video, you can watch the video for yourselves. He only says that yes, I taught, you know, I pretended to teach the, I, I pretended to teach these kids um, sexual education by teaching them to um, do stuff to themselves, and that's how I, you know, I. This is kind of like how he first kind of started out. Um, you know, how he well, what he did to one of his victims. Right. And when conservatives again, when conservatives come out and said, hey, we've heard this before. Right. Project Veritas. Right. Uh, you know, this person came out and brought out, you know, toys. Right. We all know what type of toys. Um, you know, I don't have to really, you know, overtly say it. But this guy comes out and says, yes, I pass around toys um, to these children in these sex education classes that I'm in. Conservatives come out and says, hey, you should and if this is really sexual education, you really sh it sh sexual education should just be deterring children from you know deterring minors from engaging in this type of activity. It should not be teaching kids how to do things to themselves and to use objects for, you know, uh, for perversion. Right. You should not be teaching children how to be perverts. You should not be teaching children, minors, how to engage in these type of activities. It should always be deterrence. Right. However, leftists are openly trying to make the argument that, no, we should be allowed to teach children about all things sexual. Right. It shouldn't just be it shouldn't be deterrence. It should be experimental right it should be to go out and experiment right so again vice news you guys are openly trying to use this guy to attack you know the manga industry the manga and anime industry but yet these people who you are interviewing are using the exact same arguments that re republicans republicans and conservatives in america are using against uh leftists but yet you guys sit there and say this is that's not happening that's not happening. We're just trying to teach kids sexual education. We're just trying to teach kids about their bodies, right? But yet again, what exactly is going down, right? We got the hidden camera articles. We got the hidden cameras. We got the interviews about what these so-called sex education teachers are actually teaching children, what they're actually handing out to children, what they're actually trying to encourage children to do. But yet, at the same time, you guys come out and say, well, it's a conspiracy theory. It's not happening. But in the same breath, you guys didn't turn around and say, oh, well, uh, we want anime and manga that depicts this type of, uh, you know, this type of content to be banned because this guy who is a convicted uh, offender said that he did these type of things that allowed him to get closer to his victims. Do you not see the hypocrisy in all that? Right. And so that's really my my gripe with a, a lot of this right because when i looked into this i'm like well what the what the heck you know you guys are completely destroying your own arguments right again they are using the exact same arguments that republicans have been using for them for the past several years now against uh against japan against japan against uh uh, the manga industry, right, to kind of defame the anime and manga industry for being nothing more than a hotbed of this type of legal gray area, um, you know, crime. What they believe, they, sh they believe it's a crime. They believe it should be banned. And so they're going to use this, um, use these people to try to say that the manga industry is, um, is riddled with all this crap, right? It's, it, it's just ridiculous. So again, to kind of just wrap it all up, I understand the whole subgenre in the self, right? I 100% believe Vice News is just being Vice News, bad faith actors, as all leftist publications are. But at the same time, 
I'm not, I'm going to sit here and say that, whoa, whoa, that doesn't mean that I'm on the side of the whole people who enjoy this type of content, right? I know the arguments. I know all the whole, you know, all the legal gray areas that it, this type of content resides in. However, I'm not going to sit here and play the whole mental gymnastics with you to sit here and try to explain why this isn't why this shouldn't be frowned upon right really that's what it is um why this shouldn't be why people shouldn't uh frown upon people who enjoy this type of content it's like no um part of the first amendment is that people are allowed to frown upon certain things that are uh that fall in that legal gray area right is that you're never going to get people to socially accept this it shouldn't be socially accepted um you should really just keep shut up and keep this uh keep it to yourself right because i do again i find this cringy i find people who are into furries or whatever i find that whole uh thing to be cringy right people who depict anthropomorphic animals uh engaging in relations i find that whole thing to be cringy and i do make fun of that okay i have no problem making fun of any of this crap right yes it falls in a very gray area of the first amendment but that also means that people shouldn't be able to make fun of it right it's sorry that's that's a that's the give and take you're allowed in some ways in some forms to engage in this type of activities but at the same time people are allowed to kind of sit there and look at you and not want to associate with you and sit there and kind of make fun of people who enjoy that type of content that's kind of the give and take to the first amendment right uh, it's not supposed to protect things that you don't like. It's supposed to protect. Th uh, well, it's not supposed to protect things that you do like. It's supposed to protect things that you don't like. Right. And that's a give and take. People are allowed to associate with this type of content. But at the same time, people are allowed to disassociate with this type of content. Right. People are allowed to um, praise this type of content. P on the other side, people are allowed to um, demonize this type of content as well. Right. So you got to understand that. Right. And again, I'm not going to play the whole mental gymnastics. This is simply just 100 percent fact, fact, truth, rationalization. OK, this is right. Again, the creators of this type of content are 100 percent aware of what they are creating, who they're creating this content for, who are their primary consumers. OK sitting around and trying to make any type of argument as to well that's not really what's going on it's like no 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 we come on now okay yes it falls in a legal gray area that doesn't mean that you are exempt from ridicule right you're not exempt from ridicule you're not exempt from people wanting to disassociate with you or people saying that hey this is kind of screwed up and i don't want you know i'm gonna make fun of this right because i don't like it right you right? there's a legal there's a legal line where they're not allowed to cross but at the same time people are allowed to make fun of it and say hey uh people who consume this type of product is are kind of weirdos right they're kind of weirdos i don't want to associate with these people and to some degree they're allowed to make fun right make jokes make fun of people who consume this type of content right i'm not gonna sit here and say hey you know dave Chappelle making a joke about you know, uh, what, what his last special, right, where leftists and Netflix all got upset because Dave Chappelle made a few jokes about feminism in the trans community, right? You know, I'm not going to sit here and say, oh, well, you know, Dave Chappelle is allowed to make those jokes because they're harmless. They're just jokes. He's not trying to invoke any type of violence, but at the same time say, hey, anybody who who makes uh who um anybody who makes a joke about something that you like or something that i like you know uh they're not allowed to do it right no no people are allowed to make fun of things that i like i'm allowed to make fun of things that they like right that's the give and take here right if you are a consumer of this type of content you can't in one breath be like oh well people who make fun of me or make fun of the content that i consume right they're they're bad people and i don't like it it's like they're allowed to right you, you they're allowed to in you know that's their first amendment right i find this whole entire genre to be absolute cringy right just to be fair right just to be fair and to be straight down the road all facts non-biased right we all know exactly what is is being depicted here we all know the type of people who consume the content right the writers the artists themselves know exactly who they're writing this type of they're drawing this type of con content for okay so like always stay safe stay sane be vigilant like share subscribe and i'll see you patriots on the battlefield